There we go. It's like, what the heck is it? Why was it not Let me see what I'm going to do is I'm going to find myself an anthill and aim the camera at the anthill. That was something I've been meaning to do for a while. So, like, something in there. I think there might be wasps. I have determined if my viewership reaches to 10k I'm probably going to shut down my uh, I'm going to shut down my feed because I don't really want a big viewership. I'm not I'm not out there to have a million viewers. I'm I'm only pushing for maybe at most 10k and then once it gets there I'll probably just shut it off. It's cuz I I don't want to be popular. That's I just want to uh, inspire and influence a few people, you know. Try to find this I'm out here barefoot and try to find a Ant Hill. There, there's one out here. I mean, there's bunches of them out here. Actually, uh, I have to be very careful because I might actually step in one and not even know it, and I'll be going crazy. Here it is. I think this one's dead. I don't. I don't think there's anything living in it anymore. But I can. I can test that assumption. See, it's dead. Uh, get myself a stick. That would probably be the best way of testing it. Rather use my finger. That one. That one's dead. Feels really good out here, though. Just walking in with my feet, walking through the grass. The great thing about having a lot of light is, is it's um, the camera is going to be super high res with all this light. It's, uh, the outcome is going to be pretty good. Versus on a... At least that's my assumption. Look at that. The uh, iridescent, or the... the um, we call this effect a isotropic effect. And that is when uh, one eye sees something different from the other eye, you get a feeling that shiny effect of the hoses is a, it's called an isotropic effect. An, an, an isotropic effect. An isotropic effect. An isotropic effect. When you're using computer graphics. I've, I'm opening up a book and I'm learning, I'm learning about machine learning. Uh, learning about neural nets and what exactly they are and it wasn't what I, what I thought it was I thought it was like a uh, it was um it is it's in, it's a mapping of inputs to outputs but the process is trying to figure out what kind of functions you're going to use to uh, determine the mapping and so what it's really doing is it's trying uh it reminds me of Carnot maps in digital electronics where you would take you would um, specify all of your inputs, you know, all your possible inputs and all your possible outputs, what, what kind of outputs you wanted, and then you would determine which inputs were, um, well, with Carnot maps, you would determine which inputs were relevant and which ones were not, so which um, input values were relevant and which ones were not, 
to the output. And that would determine how much electronics you needed in order to, what kind of Boolean function you would need in order to define um, the function. Uh, to program, the, to give you the sort of outputs you wanted from the inputs. And uh, it's a way of reducing your circuitry, reducing uh, how much circuitry you need in order to, because otherwise what you would use is you would uh, use an, a ROM. Um, a ROM, you would put the inputs in and the outputs would be represented on a matrix, you know. Uh, so if you had 10 inputs and you had 10 outputs, then um, the ROM would be a 10 by 10 matrix. And that 10 by 10 matrix would determine um, the mapping. I would, it would determine what came out with what, what inputs produced what output or something like that. I don't know, I just completely forgot that stuff, but I'm coming out here kind of just unwind and thought I would collect some high resolution imagery here. What I should do is put my shoes on and go down and see if I can videotape our neighbor's longhorns. We got a neighbor down down the way it's got 20 longhorns or like 10 longhorn uh, um, cattle in his in his yard and it's always an it's always interesting to see but I'm just like these got these cattle got to be sick and tired of hanging out on this narrow piece piece of land this guy's got and I told my mom it's uh it's way too narrow for those cattle and she says no it's perfectly fine I'm like it wouldn't be for me if I was a cattle and I was out on that land, man. Yeah, you know, being a being a bull, longhorn, longhorn, and being out there, going ho hum, my narrow existence, my narrow plane of existence here. What is this going on? Now the reason why I make these videos is because I have this theory that there are guys hanging out in big cities, uh, just completely stressed, and they put on their Oculus headset and they want to go to another place, and I'm just here to provide you that opportunity to, to experience, and you can turn the audio down, of course I probably should shut up, so I'll just give you that, uh, I'll give you that benefit, I don't know. I will now shut up. Ow. Ouch. Ouch. I can't do it here. Ow. Uh -huh. 